It's a non-stop thrill ride. Blake's, it's it's Frank. Is it Frank? Yes, this is Frank. <laughs> Everybody wave to Frank. Amazing. So, welcome to week two. This is the run of things. You know that. And today we've got Tolu. Let's say hi to Tolu. Tolu, hi. Hello. Hello. Thank you for joining us. And, it, and then loads more cats appeared. That was my experience. Oh, they're cute. Oh, good. Here we go. Here's some questions. This is nice. So just asking, learning to ask um, good questions. And so if you find there's a subject matter or a thing that you particularly kind of nerd out over, follow that because that's where you'll find inspiration. Like, is it to get like famous or like, what is it for? Uh, have you seen the movie Social Dilemma? Just came out on Netflix. Like, what's the best way to get yourself off the ground kind of thing? So to get that off the ground is first being able to articulate what that story is, like why you're doing the things you're doing, and then sharing that story. I was born in Lagos, Nigeria. I moved a lot when I was younger. So the ability to adapt to new environments, not knowing what my surroundings are, but finding a way to figure it out quickly. Hey, yeah, thank you so much. Now that's a beautiful answer. It was awesome. The idea becomes the machine that makes the art. I spent a lot of time just like sitting at my journal, just typing, just thinking. I don't know how I'll know it's time, but I'll know it's time. Uh -huh. And then I'll just sit down and I'll do the thing. And then I'm like, oh, okay. And then I look back and I'm like, okay, so this is the thought that led up to this thing. Rebecca, did you pick up sewing yourself? What I'm working on right now is that I took an online course with the oldest embroidery company in England. Yeah, I just have another pedal to fill in. My coworker was like, Isabella, if there's anything you want to learn in life, just just YouTube it. And then yesterday I finished this project. Ooh. It's this little dress that I made. Yay, it looks so good. <laughs> I'm crocheting right now. I started crocheting in quarantine um, and I'm making a sunflower blanket. So everyone's crocheting, oh my goodness. So my number one tip is figuring out, like doing a lot of reflection, like personal reflection and thinking like, what is it that you're doing? What, what is your story and why do you need to tell the story, right? And then once you do that with, the, with authenticity and understand that, then the right people will connect to your message. Cool. That was super good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you to for having me. Thank you. I think it's for the sense of being learning here together, which is nice. Sam, what are you eating with a spoon? Made peanut butter noodles. So good. So Tolu was very good, I thought. Well done. Us. Well done, all of us, for talking to Tolu and uh, to Tolu. And you did good questions as well. But in fact, it does have ding, 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 a few different things. Uh, so between the last session and this session, you were meant to start a thread with your name and write about your creative project, which most of you have done. So well done to all of you. But that was my one, because I thought, I thought I'd better do this too, since I've asked you to do it. Seemed fair. But there's things like, um, the question was, question D, what do you think you'll learn from the process of doing it? And I thought, well, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. Or I suddenly thought, oh yeah, that's what I want to say about creativity. The thing you need to understand is creativity is not a variable. So a variable is a thing that can be different amounts of a thing. Um, and people often talk about it like that, like, oh, she's really creative. Or, you know, I was, I was not born creative. My levels of creativity are low. But actually, that's not really a thing. You don't have more or less creativity. That's not how creativity works. Creativity is just things that you bother to do, things you've had ideas to do and things that you've done. It's not a quantity of some mysterious magic which exists inside you. Doing the thing is what puts you in the position of being able to do more of the thing, also so that people think you're really good at the thing. It's just doing the thing. Um, but that's a good point, isn't it? <laughs> So then that person puts out a new thing and somebody else sees that thing and they think, mm, well, okay, if that person's doing that thing, then maybe I can do something else. And so then you get this kind of spiral of people uh, doing and making things. Not so much about content, not so much about what they're doing, just the fact that they're there doing it can be inspiring, I think. I know a lot of people who don't really care about what other people think. And that kind of um, gives an inspiration of like, oh, I'm just going to do what I want to do. I'm just going to do me. And then if they like it, they like it. If they don't, then, you know. I really want to do that. Or like, it makes me feel better about wanting to be in that medium, seeing <laughs> other people do well in that medium. So hopefully you've got a piece of paper and you've got a pen. Right. Three people or things that inspire you. Write down the qualities or characteristics of these things. What are the things that make them interesting for you? 
One of them that I have that connects all of them is vulnerability. Jordan, Jordan says escapism. Miku says everything that inspires me seems to surround the idea of being true to yourself. Uh-huh. I think the shared quality here is purity of heart, where someone is true to themselves. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I think that's something I'd like to develop more of, like really setting outside time and like being like meaningfully creative. The yeah, other thing I uh, thought of we could talk about today had a book called Meander Spiral Explode. And I thought it was a great title. I really like that title. I like three-part lists. Three-part lists are always good. Meander, spiral, explode. So the book came. <laughs> the book's maybe not as good as its title. It's going to be hard to make it as good as the title. The title's only three words long and it ends with the word explode. Uh, her starting point is that there's a book called Patterns in Nature from the 1970s, which just identifies all the different patterns that you get in nature. I was thinking about it in terms of music. How could you make use of these patterns in music? So meander, you know, the one, this happens in nature. The swarm. There's the spiral, quite common. Frost makes interesting patterns. This may also be frost, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the right words. Leaves and branches. Waves is another one. Also explode can mean like that one there. That's a water drop going poof. Also like a daisy. Poof. Explode. Don't normally think of patterns from nature as inspiration. Could be something in that I thought, that's all. I think we've come to a finish. 